Welcome, digital artists! I'm Gale from AI Creative Tools, and today we're going to talk about AI character creation. First of all, I'll give you some generic tips uh, on how to make characters with AI better. Then uh, we'll take a look at what our updated character prompt builder has to offer on this topic. And uh, then we'll briefly uh, check how different AI tools uh, cope uh, with this issue. And my first piece of advice here is to focus on one character at a time. This lets you to go into detail as much as you like and also to improve quality. If you try to create two or more characters, the AI might be confused and you will not be satisfied with the results, as you can see here. But frankly speaking, I really like this one. <laughs> And by the way, the character prompt builder is also tailored to create one character at a time. Then be very specific with appearance details, especially when you're creating real people. For example, in this first prompt, I didn't have enough detail. It was something like illustration of a boy and nothing else. That's why all the styles, all the boys and all the compositions are very, very different from each other. And for creating these images, I used a very detailed prompt. I named the outfit of the boy, his hairstyle and other details. That's why this gave me much more control on the outcome. Next, for style consistency, use clear and common styles. Watercolor, Disney, 3D, these are very good examples. This will allow you providing the AI with clear instructions even with a short prompt. Also, add emotions, poses and views to make your characters even more alive. By the way, we have a separate video on ensuring a full body view of your character, which might also be useful. For character consistency, use character design sheets or side-by-side -side views. This will allow you to create characters in multiple poses and with different emotions. Even though the AI today is a bit random in this format, this is still a very useful tool for easy character consistency. And now to the prompt builder we go. If you're not familiar with our products, I recommend you checking the guides on prompt builder basics and pro features on our website first. In this video, we'll not repeat the 101, we'll dive right into what's special about this builder. Some of you already know that we are planning a big script update soon, which means that pro features will be significantly extended. Also, we will be adding a lot of relevant bonus content to help you get the best results with each builder. With this updated character builder, we are piloting exactly this bonus content. You can find it right here under the main builder area. Some of these guides are exclusive to the pro version. You can check them off as you go, which makes tracking your progress very easy. Next up to the drop downs. In this video, I will not go inside each one. I will just highlight the most interesting parts. As always, all the terms in each drop down were manually chosen, tested and refined for character building. The format block. The terms from here appear at the start of the prompt, making sure that AI doesn't ignore them or mix them up. These are the most important terms, so don't skip them. Digital product uh, has some interesting options like character design sheet, side-by-side -side view and fashion design sketch, which you have already seen. Main style. Here I'd like to draw your attention that uh, chibi style, anime, as well as cute kawaii are put here because they perform better here than in the end of the prompt with additional style. View. This might be very interesting for some prompts, so don't sleep on it. And background contains options for clean backgrounds, as well as the detailed ones, and also some abstract options. Character block. Character is the only default option picked in this builder to ensure that the outcome images will be about characters. By the way, you can, of course, pick something else from here, and it's the most populated dropdown that we have. From generic characters to fantasy, everyday professionals, uh, trendy personalities, heroes, historical characters, and even animals and creatures. By the way, if you are drawing an animal, you should use uh, from key traits, 
drop down these anthropomorphic or human-like to ensure that these animals are more like characters, if you of course aiming for that. The skin tone drop down is very clear, uh, you can find races here, then you can find natural skin tones or other tones if you are creating aliens or fantasy creatures. Facial details uh, is also very clear, but please keep in mind that uh, some of the options can be conflicting with some views. For example, if you pick eyes and you pick back view, this will conflict with each other and uh, the AI will reproduce either back view or front view with the eyes you picked. Okay, next hairstyle. This works best with multiple selection mode when you can pick the color uh, and the length as well as the style. When the script thinks of it, yes, okay, uh, you will see in the final prompt uh, that everything of that is reflected. In the poses drop down, you can find static poses, gestures, or dynamic actions. Clothing and accessories are self explanatory. By the way, this builder is a little bit of exception from other builders. If you type in your custom character, it will replace the character picked from this drop-down. Once again, this builder is focused on creating one character at a time, and this is the reason for that. Color and style. Colors are pretty clear, nothing to add here. Additional styles include cartoon styles, video games styles, some popular aesthetics, and various artistic styles. You can find the illustrations for all the styles here in the visual examples sheet, as always. By the way, also here you can find the outcome examples for presets, as well as digital products and the main styles. the ones we chose in this format section, as you remember. Specifications uh, drop-down also works well with multiple selection. There are plenty of options here. All of them are very, very different from each other, so it's very probable that you want to use uh, some of them at once. For example, uh, we can add hand painting, symmetrical and elaborate costume to our prompt, and it will look like this. By the way, this drop-down contains some terms which are replicative to some terms from other drop-downs. For example, this hand-painted is almost the same as hand-drawn from the main style. But don't be shy to use both. It's okay, it will only increase the probability uh, that your image will really look like hand-drawn. It's very useful for longer prompts. Also, you can add some other details and they will go to the beginning of the prompt uh, in this format section and it is very useful especially for the basic version users because they have less uh, control over the prompt they can't add the custom options they only can use what the builder has to offer so this is a good way to add something important to the beginning of the prompt Midjourney parameters of course it's only for the Midjourney users and i have only two things to say here Increase the stylized value above the default 100 if you want to make your character more detailed or 3D. And also don't skip the negative prompting because it will allow you to exclude the unwanted details from your outcome image. Now let's see how various AI image generators cope with character creation. First of all, as always, I remind you that all AI tools were trained on different data, meaning that even with the same prompt, they all will provide totally different results. In my opinion, Midjourney is still the best for character creation because it has the widest variety of styles as well as very solid character consistency tools. By the way, character consistency is a totally different topic and I have a separate video about it, so go check it out if you're interested. Okay, ChatGPT also known as DALI, also known as Bing. As you know, DALI is under the hood of both Bing and ChatGPT. The reason why ChatGPT images are better 
is because ChatGPT is smarter. And also with ChatGPT, you are in conversational mode, meaning that you can add, remove, or change the details of your characters as you chat with AI, which you can't uh, do with Bing. You just got what you got with uh, one single prompt. Thanks to this conversational mode, uh, ChatGPT is also capable of creating consistent characters, but you should be good at prompting. At the same time, I think that ChatGPT is very, very limited uh, with styles and it's better to create simple vector-like images with it. But still, this AI is the best for following your prompts precisely, meaning it will less likely skip any details that you've mentioned unless they are contradictory. Leonardo is great with anime images and its recent Lucid model has very nice outcomes, but unfortunately character consistency doesn't work with it for now. All in all, Leonardo has consistent characters feature, but it's very basic and I can't recommend it. Flux. It doesn't have any character consistency at all for now, but it has nice outcomes and you can achieve uh, a certain diversity of styles with it. Ideogram works best for photos and vector-like images. There is a character consistency tool. It is very simple, but it provides the best results when matching real photos into consistent characters. Also, I've tried Google Imagine 4 for the first time. Well, I'd say that the images look very nice. No character consistency though. But another Google AI Studio tool, recently released Nana Banana, is just awesome. You can create characters in a wide variety of styles. Character consistency is great. And no doubt I'll make a separate video on what you can do with characters in Nano Banana. It's really wild. That's it. I hope this was helpful. Ask your questions in the comments and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It really helps us grow. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.